I don't really know how I'm going to start or where I'm going to start with this video. I want to apologise if I'm going to swear because I am going to fucking swear in this video. United have just lost 6-1 to Spurs at Old Trafford. A humiliating performance. A humiliating result. And it's like that City game those years ago. In fact, it might possibly be worse than that. Just let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments below. But it sums United up. Really, really does. What are we as a club right now? We are an absolute shambles. And it's not even that surprising to see a result like that. It really genuinely is not. We were 1-0 up within 30 seconds and five minutes later we were 2-1 down. Harry Maguire, what are you doing? You are pulling Luke Shaw down. You are playing header tennis in your own area. You absolute weapon. I was happy when Baye came in for Lindelof. Maybe Baye came in for the wrong defender, but then Baye was at fault for two goals after that. The second goal that Spurs scored, Maguire decided to take Kane out and then let him have a nice quick free kick. And then the third and the fourth, Bay was at fault when the ball went across to Kane and also when the ball came across to Son. But there's no fucking point talking about individual errors in this game. Because it's the overall message that that 6-1 result sends. That is the talking point. And for me, the talking point is absolutely about the fact that the fucking Glazers, Ed Woodward and Matt Judge have let another manager become the fall guy. Because already on the timeline, you can see Solskjaer out is being murmured, being whispered, being shouted, depending where you're looking. And it's all because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has become the latest manager to not be backed by United's owners with the signings that we need to elevate this club to the next fucking level. We need a new centre-back. Cavani is a great signing. Hopefully, I'm sure. Tellez, hell, that's a fucking defender. That might improve our team. But we have needed a centre-back all summer. Yet, Ed Woodward is sat there with his damn fucking mask on, just watching the game. We haven't even tried to sign a centre-back this summer. And I'm not going to try and take away from the fact that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is partly responsible for what's happening there. Defensively, we were at sea. We were lost that game. That comes down to coaching as much as it comes down to individual performances. That is a problem that Solskjaer should be questioned about. But the thing that's pissing me off here is the cycle is happening again. A manager gets into the top four, he doesn't get those signings. A manager doesn't get into that top four, he does get signings, then he isn't back, then he's questioned and he's sacked and we bring in a new manager and the cycle fucking happens again. I'm bored of it. You're bored of it. We're all bored of it. That 6-1 there is the culmination of what has been a shit summer for United. We should be going into that game against Spurs, which is the, what is it, the third or the fourth game of the season. With our signings done, with our transfers done, instead we're learning 15-20 minutes before kickoff that a deal for Tellez is done. Tellez and Cavani are having their medicals at United tonight. And we still might, well we're not going to, but you're still going to hear noise around Sancho. And it still doesn't even get to the point that the main fucking problem at United clearly is at centre-back. And is that because we're signing the wrong players? Harry Maguire, 80 million. Lindelof, 30 million. Bye, 30 million. <sighs> Fuck me. Mourinho's just come to Old Trafford and won 6-1, guys. And girls. Look, I'm lost for words. I'm really genuinely lost for words. I'm not... No, of course I'm surprised that United are losing 6-1. But this United team at the moment, even the game against Brighton where we won, we were like, well, we should have probably lost that game. United had the opportunity from last year where we finished third, where the feeling was high. Bruno Fernandes came in and sprinkled a new level of stardust on this team that we just hadn't seen in so long. And we had the opportunity to build on that. And instead, the fucking Glazers and Woodward and Judge have spent all summer haggling, 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 like we're in a fucking Moroccan spice market trying to get 20p off some spices. But this is football, man. Get the deals done 
And it adds so much value to the team because you can then go into games like this focused fully on nothing but the game. But all the questions now are going to be about Solskjaer and whether he's good enough at United. And maybe in the long term he won't be, but it's not the fucking problem. And Solskjaer does, should not be the fall guy from this fucking humiliating 6-1 defeat. But he probably will be, because that's how football at United works. And the cycle will repeat itself. And Solskjaer will get sacked and will bring in another manager, whether that's Pochettino or somebody else. They'll get some signings, we'll get a slight high, and we'll go back over the other side again. There is no two steps forward with United. And it's a purposeful business plan because what goes for the Glazers goes against what United needs as a football club to keep, not even keep up with Liverpool and City, to catch them before they both spent collectively over 200 million together, before Chelsea spent 200 million to try and catch them, before Spurs spent 70 million, they just fucking pumped a 6 1. It's an utter joke that United are in this situation, but it's not all the clubs doing. Solskjaer is the man who, look, some of you may want Solskjaer to come out and say, fuck the Glazers. I mean, I quite like that as well, to be fair. Might want to hear him come out and say, you know, fuck this. I'm not being given what I need. Jesus Christ, look how crap this club is. Mourinho tried that. Mourinho got sacked. Solskjaer is trying it in his own way. Fergie was a man who publicly defended the Glazers, much to our own disdain, for a long, long time. But he had the genius of backing that up with titles. Solskjaer is not going to be winning a damn thing with this team apart from relegation at this rate. 6 1 there against Spurs at Old Trafford. I just. I just don't want Solskjaer and all the fingers to be fucking pointed at him after this game when all summer long we've been pointing the fingers in the right direction. It's made fuck all difference, clearly, because. Look at what's just happened there. But it wasn't a damn red card. I haven't even fucking spoken about that. That wasn't a red card. And if it was a red card for Martial, Lamella's elbow hit fucking Martial in the face first, you idiots. Is that not what VAR is there for? Fucking disgrace. Great penalty from Kane, I suppose. 6-1. Same result that happened against City a while ago. D2 most humiliating days in the Premier League for United. And Solskjaer is going to be the man who gets all the fingers pointed at him. But I'm asking you to fucking point them where they should be pointed. And now we're 24 hours, or what is it, 36 hours to go in this transfer window. We fucking need, we, we need miracles. But, but even miracles won't undo the damage that has been done now. And it's the thing, I've, the fucking drum I've been banging on. It doesn't matter what United do at the end of this transfer window. Because the damage has already been done. It continues to have more damage on the club, on Solskjaer. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But fuck Woodward, fuck the Glazers, and fuck the cycle that is continuing to happen, and it's happening again, and Solskjaer will be the next fall guy. End of story.